baada mchanzora dr biju la tanzi <coughs> dr sara ruto cas education representing the cabinet secretary education professor george mangoha engineer karioki mochemi the all members of the university of nairobi council we are present on a bit list Adagara, MP for Higa County, Professor Patrick Rumumba, the Secretary General of the University of Nairobi, Arumnai, and also representing the Chairman. The Vice Chancellors of the Sisa University is present. Alexander Mutechi, Director General of Immigration Services. MS Chalon Di Manche, Chief of Mission, IOM. Mr. Frederick Dabuki, Secretary of Administration, representing PS University of Education, India Kalioki Muchemi, I've said that, and, uh, Cynthia Macharia, Program Advisor, DTZ. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to this 66th graduation of University of Nairobi. Madam Chancellor, as we gather here today, we acknowledge the great work that has been done by the graduates, the faculty that taught them, the guardians, as well as all those who gave them scholarships to study at this great university, including the government of Kenya. We have come to celebrate the fruits of this great work and they usher these graduates to the world of work having acquired the necessary knowledge, skills, and behavior that will give them a competitive advantage as they participate in nation building and serve the community with honor. Madam Chancellor, the class of 2021 comprises 10,672 students. 6,407 graduating today in the 66th graduation ceremony and 4,205 who graduated in the 67th graduation ceremony in September. I congratulate the entire class of 2021. Even as you exit the class of 2021, we expect you to stay connected to the university, your alma mater, your nurturing mother, and to continue to expose the values of the university wherever you will be. Learning at the University of Nairobi is such a great experience. You learn with the best and also learn from the best scholars as you interact with the industry as well. It truly accords you the opportunity to self-discovery, getting challenged and getting the best out of yourself. I want to thank the Chancellor Dr. Vijura Tansi, for being a strong pillar to the University of Nairobi. Without her unwavering support, the University of Nairobi would not be where it is today. She has ensured that we remain focused on our mission. I thank you, Madam Chancellor, for this and the entire Ratansi Education Trust for giving financial support to well over 250 needed students from the University of Nairobi. I also want to appreciate Professor Julio Jambo led Council for spearheading transformative reforms that have put the university on a path to recovery, on a trajectory for sustainable, vibrant, and relevant universities. The Council, Madam Chancellor, has served us with honor and given us distinguished and dedicated service. Madam Chancellor, speaking at the first graduation ceremony of the University of Nairobi in this great court on Thursday, 10th December 1970, at about 3 p.m., the founding president of the Republic of Kenya, Mr. Jomo Kenyatta, stated as follows. 
to those who are graduating from this university, I would say this. Never forget the opportunity that has been created by your fellow citizens. Practice the act of modesty and recognize your limitations. Exert your efforts to help your country and your people and let your work bring honor to this university. I echo this message today. The University of Nairobi graduates who have graduated since then have not let the University of Nairobi down. And we congratulate them. Madam Chancellor, the university has continued to make great strides due to the support from its stakeholders, the support from the alumni association, the support from the students, the support from the teaching and non-teaching staff, the support from government and collaborators. This support has given us courage, hope, and strength to overcome the challenges that continue to confront us every day. Madam Chancellor, as we celebrate this occasion of the 60th graduation ceremony, it is important to reflect on the achievements that we have made since the time we embarked on the transformation journey. Allow me, Madam Chancellor, to touch on a few milestones that we have accomplished in the last two years. On finances, through financial display and prudent management of the finances, the university has managed to achieve the critical balance between the revenue and the expenditure. We have eliminated wastages and sealed loopholes for leakages, eliminated, eliminated all cash transactions in the university, and transitioned to e-banking, and put all our transactions online for enhanced efficiency, effectiveness, and traceability of our transactions. I'm proud, Madam Chancellor, therefore, to report that because of these measures, among others, the university has, in this current year, achieved 100% compliance on limitants of statutory deductions, which would have appeared a mileage, including the remittances of SACOS, NHIF, NSSF, KRA, pension funds, as well as creditors, whenever they fall due. This has been done in the context of what we term as the people reform. We want the university staff, and by extension the university blood, to be a trusted blood. We want to ensure that our employees receive their pension promptly as soon as they retire. We do not want our staff to be on police or on TRB register. We do not want the University of Nairobi employees to be denied tax compliance certificate by KRA or any other body. We do not want to be cited among the list of ailing institutions. We have the capacity, Madam Chancellor. We shall surely rise. We must rise. We continue to request government to support us to clear the accumulated areas as we continue to address the current demand. Madam Chancellor, we enhance our revenue correction. This year alone, we have attracted research grants worth 602 billion Kenya shillings to finance projects that are spread over a number of years in accordance with the various collaborative agreements. Fees correction has also gone up from the Kenya chilling about 1.5 billion to Kenya chilling about 2.3 billion for the half year. Madam Chancellor, in addition to these measures, we have eliminated wastages and made savings. We have terminated leases for external teaching spaces that used to consume annual rent of about Kenya shillings 30 million. These external spaces, by the beginning of last year, the university had accumulated 
a debt of about 57 million which madam chancellor we have seen settled we have frozen hiring of new employees except on critical areas to contain the wage bill further we have also ceased rehiring madam chancellor of those who have retired from the university overall we have progressively reduced our staff complement through natural attrition and we expect this trend to continue until we have a number of staff that we can comfortably pay and that can carry out the university work efficiently madam chancellor on curricular delivery the university reduced its academic program from 575 to just 325 and reorganized this program along 11 faculties where staff have been deployed to support those programs this madam chancellor will bring synergy in the curricular delivery optimize staff management and workload workload rationalization we have also suspended most of the diploma programs and only retained the 12 of flagship programs where we have competitive advantage furthermore we have reviewed the curricula of 104 programs in the last one year in order to address the changing needs and demands for the training madam chancellor in order to comply with the law eliminate redundancies enhance efficiency and effectiveness in carrying out university business we have rationalized the number of administrative units and optimized our human resources and finances resorting in generally in general uh, reduce expenditure deans of faculties are now more empowered with the human and financial resources to make critical decisions within the shortest turn around time madam chancellor your visitation report indicated that data deficiency at this university is impeding the performance of the university of nairobi consequently we have initiated a number of targeted initiatives to deal with the issue of data what we are terming as data reform we recently completed cleaning of the student progression records we have cleaned student data and records we can now plan and budget accurately for our fifth, about 50000 students instead of the initial number of about 84000 students that was not verified the 50000 students madam chancellor comprise both government sponsored and self sponsored students that are enrolled at this university for the graduate and post graduate programs the university of nairobi madam chancellor is increasingly becoming a university of choice for post graduate studies and we want to continue to focus our energy in creating a niche in post graduate training madam chancellor in order to strengthen data management and to systematize the use of data in making decisions we have refurbished our education data center earlier this week i commissioned the refurbished university education data center at ict the education data center will act as a nav center in which all business processes will be anchored including teaching learning procurement human resource management maintenance of facilities as well as financial management madam chancellor on people reforms we have continued to engage staff and students to find effective ways of addressing their issues and grievances in a caring and compassionate manner through consultations with the staff union we were able earlier this year to finalize the implementation of the cba 2017 2021 by placing all staff in their correct notion furthermore madam chancellor 177 students who had been previously expelled from the university of nairobi have been pardoned i'm glad to note that 11 of those who have been pardoned 
have still completed their studies and graduated and gone to serve the country and help their families. The university has also created an environment for nurturing urban talent, a, a platform for student talents to flourish. This calendar year, Madam Chancellor, we have we have held two talent days in March earlier this year and December, the beginning of December. The University of Nairobi Traveling Theatre has been resuscitated and is staging shows to entertain the Nairobi community. Globally, one of our students, Ferdinand Omanyara, broke the 100 meter national record. He became the fastest man in Africa and the eighth fastest man in the planet during the World Athletics Meet in Kasarani in 2021. I want to thank the National Police Service for coming on board to give Fernando Omanyara appropriate support to excel in his athletic career. Madam Chancellor, the university has created a culture and ecosystem for innovation and entrepreneurship. This year alone, the university registered seven patents. I salute all those who have been involved in developing these talents. The university has cumulatively registered 89 patents since it was established. And I believe that we can do better in the coming years. Innovation and enterprise is the next frontier of growth for the University of Nairobi. Madam Chancellor, being a successful public performer comes with a tremendous social responsibility. The University of Nairobi Brad will continue to focus on the welfare of our society in the process of discharging its mandate. In this respect, I want to appreciate the important role played by the Center for Epidemiology Mod Epidemiological Modeling and Analysis. SEMA, for the way they have continued to support the government on the management of the COVID-19. The University of Nairobi has also hosted several important meetings, like the Global Climate Action or the State of Acceleration of Adaptation that was inaugurated by President Uhuru Kenyatta. The National Mila conference by the Governor Omeru and the Human Rights Day with the theme All Human, All Equal, among others. University of Nairobi will continue to be the venue of choice for exchanging ideas to make the globe a better place for the current and future generations. Madam Chancellor, universities are about collaboration. Through collaborations and networks, the university has been able to attract resources for advancing its research agenda and for development of infrastructure. I want to particularly single out the financing of science and engineering complex. This project, Madam Chancellor, is expected to transform the teaching and learning of science, technology, and engineering and the mathematics STEM in this country. This project is expected to cost about 4.6 billion Kenya shillings. I want to thank the National Treasury for signing the financing agreement with our partners. We value and appreciate our partners. Once again, my heart congratulations to the graduates and their families. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year.